John Garfield was one of the most dynamic actors of his generation and a staple in film noir. And I am happy to welcome back his daughter, Julie Garfield, here to talk about her dad's career and, and this film. Uh, so you, at the top, you had mentioned uh, your dad's acting choices. When he has Shelley Winters alone in that apartment toward the end of the movie, and, and he goes between being completely paranoid totally uh, jealous, angry, um, lustful, I mean, uh, paranoid again, furious, um, distrustful. I mean, the, the, the transitions that he made, the emotional transitions mm -hmm. that he made, he would do it on a, on a dime, yes, like yeah. that, bang, 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 yep. bang. And, and that hunger in him. And it's an it's ex extraordinary performance because mm -hmm. of that, really it, extraordinary. It's great, and, and he's working with really great actors in this film. I, I do want to give a shout out to Wallace Ford, oh. who plays the father in the film, oh who is God. really one of the great you know, unsung actors in Hollywood. I mean, always in character parts, but he and your dad are just terrific together. What's that church stuff do for you anyway? What's it get you? Well, for one thing, it makes a man understand the nature of love. They had made another great film, The Breaking Point, together, where, you know, you could just see how much these guys loved working together. But Shelley Winters, Let's Shelley talk Winters. about Shelley Winters. So she drove everybody crazy because <laughs> she wanted to have the last moment in the movie. And from the very beginning of, of making this movie, she was on John Barry all the time about having the last moment in the movie, that she would be with him and you would see her tragic face as he died. And so this fight went on throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, and the, the ending that in the book, Sam Ross's book, he ran all the way, uh, the ending is very different, and, and it's not nearly as dramatic as in the film uh, because uh, Nick actually sort of just tries to rape her uh, on the couch in the house, and she stabs him, right? And right. of course, you know, Dalton Trumbo does not write endings like that. And so he said, no, 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 this is... This is, you know, Julie's picture, and we're going to play this whole scene, dramatic scene on the stairs, and then, you know, how fitting, I have to say, um, that, you know, your dad's death scene in this movie, which is like the, the most noir thing imaginable, would actually be the last scene of his film career. Exactly. You know, that's it. This was exactly. the last John Garfield picture. Yeah. What do you think about, you know, your relationship with your dad and how odd it is to know him mostly through motion pictures. Well, it's sad, you know. I, I mean, I, I got a lot of talent from my father. Um, uh, and maybe I was better off not to get the fame uh, because it can be very destructive, you know. But, you know, the strangest thing about He Ran All the Way is it's like his life. It's like, it's like it was what his life was happening to him, that, that paranoia, that, that kindness. First he would be paranoid. Then he would be very kind and gentle. He was exactly what was going on in his life. It's very strange. And then he would die in the gutter. Very prescient, you know? Very, yeah, very it's, prescient. It, it, well, the film was obviously made for him. Yeah. And he was clearly drawn to this character uh, and wanted to play it. And it's, uh, it, in some ways, it's like his, uh, his testimony or something at the, at the end of his career. It's almost like he knew this was was coming right you know right. Um, so Julie thank you so much for well, uh, for, for sharing thank all thank this you. with it and thank you for joining us on Noir Alley today remember the conversation never ends over on Facebook and Twitter and next week Audrey Totter a favorite here at Noir Alley helps Robert Taylor find his lost memory in a great MGM film noir until then see you in the shadows